Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given nested radical equation, square root of uh, square root of a square plus 1 plus 1 equals to cube root of a. And eventually, we are going to check for any extraneous solution as well. And just keep in your mind that a are our real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, cube root of a on the right hand side. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this basic rule. According to this rule, our index is 3. So therefore, this radical notation could be written as a power 1 divided by 3. So therefore our equation could be written as you can see over here. And now we are going to undo this square root by taking the square on both sides. I'm going to take the square on this side and square on this side as well. And here we can see this square and square root they are gone. So we ended up with the square root of a square plus 1 and then plus 1 equals to now let's recall this power rule of exponents so therefore the right hand side could be written as a power two third and now let's go ahead and subtract one from both sides they are gone so on the left hand side we are ended up with a square plus one equals to on the right hand side a power two third minus 1. Now let's go ahead and undo this square root once again. Let's take the square on left hand side and take the square on the right hand side as well. And we can see this square and square root they are gone. So we ended up with a square plus 1 equal to now let's recall this famous identity a minus b square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So this could be written as a power 2 third whole square plus 1 square is same as 1 minus 2 times a power 2 third. And now we can see this one and this one they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the a square on the left hand side equals to a power 2 third whole square minus 2 times a power 2 over 3. And now let's focus on the left hand side this a square. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and tweak this one. This could be written as a power 3 times 2 third and now we are going to apply this power rule so according to this rule this could be written as a power two third and then a whole power three so therefore this left hand side this a square i can replace it a power two third and then a whole power three and now we are going to move all these terms on the left hand side we can write negative a power 2 third whole square and then plus 2 times a power 2 third equals to 0 on the right hand side. And now we can see we have a power 2 third is in common among all these terms. So therefore we're going to make uh, things simple and we're going to let substitute uh, u equals to a power 2 third. So therefore I can say let u equals to a power 2 third. So therefore this equation could be written as after substitution u power 3 minus uh, u square plus uh, 2 times u equal to 0. Now we can see that u is common among all these terms. So I can factor u out. So we ended up in parentheses u square minus u plus 2 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate these factors. So this could be written as 
u equal to 0 and the other factor is u square minus u plus 2 equals to 0. Now let's focus on this equation u equal to 0 first and we know that u equals to a power 2 third so therefore we can write a power 2 third equal to 0 so that means a is going to be 0 that is one of our solutions and now let's focus our this equation u square minus u plus 2 equal to 0 and let's recall this discriminant b square minus 4ac and now let's go ahead and calculate this discriminant b square minus 4ac where a is 1 as you can see over here b is negative 1 and c is positive 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so b in our case is negative 1 so this is going to become negative 1 square minus 4 time a is 1 c is positive 2 and now we can see negative 1 square is same as 1 minus that is going to give us 8 so that is going to give us negative 7 and now we can see that our discriminant turns out to be a negative number and here's our discriminant table we can see that our this discriminant is a negative number so therefore there are no real solutions and since there are no real solutions so therefore this case has been rejected so our only solution is a equal to zero and here's our final step we know our only solution turns out to be a equal to zero and now let's go ahead and check this solution as a equal to zero by just plugging in in this equation and here I have copied down this equation. We are going to replace each and every a by zero and see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. So let's go ahead and plug it in these values square root of square root of zero square plus one and then plus one equal to the cube root of 0 and we're going to see whether the left hand side is same as right hand side and here I have simplified all the way and turns out to be on the left hand side the square root of 2 equals to 0 and we can see that this is a false statement so therefore we conclude that a equal to 0 is our extraneous solution so therefore this is rejected so therefore we conclude there are no real solution to this given problem thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye